Please, not another step. You're not wanted here. Go back now, please. Go, go, go. Imagine the worst place ever. Well, that's what this cave is like. Now go away. Please, turn around and head up to the fresh air, and to the happy Americans up in the world. I've seen America. I'm happier in this cave. Nothing, nothing makes me long for the time of kings more than this. The age of the common man. The age of democracy. The age of idiots. We have put the idiots in charge, and we wonder why the world has turned stupid. Are we dumber than them? Are we really? Could we possibly be this stupid? Don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. I imagine even that's lost on you. Hello, mister. I don't want you here. How many times do I have to tell you? All right, well, that is our third interaction with him, I think. There's two more after this, and he might repeat. I can't remember if he repeats, because I never come back here after the five that it is my research says is the amount of times he has something to say. Oh god. I forgot about the cougars in this area of the map. I'm looking for an O'Driscoll camp to try to get the dynamite challenge. And that is not it. I know you might be asking, why don't you just go to Hanging Dog Ranch and it's a lot easier to try to get the four O'Driscolls that are in a single camp than they than Hanging Dog Ranch, at least my memory serves me correctly. Then it yeah, like it's just easier to do it the camp method.
Okay, well, this is where we can get the next legendary fish. So why don't we pull this out and see? Wow, that was quick. Well, that must be the legendary fish over there. Is there any other big fish that I might be missing? I'm not seeing any. All right, then let's get the special lake lure, I think is what it needs. How's about this bait, I wonder? Since this is a bigger fish, we'll be taking it immediately Here to the, uh, d to deliver it. Oh, I got you. I got you. No. Oh no. God, damn. Is this going to be a lot tougher than it usually is? Because sometimes these fishes can be really annoying. You're mine. You're mine. Ho oh, ho, you are one fine fish, my friend. Hmm. Small mouth. The legendary smallmouth bass can be found in the waters of Awanji. A special lake lures can be used for a successful catch. Locals have stated that this fish is most active when it is raining. Local fishermen have estimated the size of the legendary smallmouth bass to be around 50 inches long and weighing in over at 20 pounds. We are keeping that. All right, and let's put it back of our horse and deliver it. Along with the two other fish. And I think those are the only two I can remember the locations of. I'm sure we will discover them as we go along. I could check the map as well to make sure we're not missing out on anything. Because I think there's one in the, like, northern snowy area that we'll get this chapter. Along with a few others in the right side of the map. didn't recognize you. Been some time, ain't it? As long as you can cover postage. It'll be there before you know it. What are you sending then?
Just had to make sure it counted those, because that was kind of weird what happened there, right? Okay. Well, we got that done, so let's uh, save again. But we're going to kind of stick around and try to do some of the weapon expert challenges, get those done and out of the way so we can buy the special bandoliers that are involved with that. I usually just like to use Hanging Dog Ranch as, like, the main way to farm those challenges. Well, that was perfect. God damn hooded rodents. I'll kill all you bastards. Well, I couldn't have thought of a better situation to get that challenge than this way. I kind of forgot about these events. We'll read that document in just a second. A lot of the times I like to let these guys kind of <laughs> do their stupid ritual and hurt themselves because they always end up hurting themselves. But throwing a stick of dynamite among these racist people, just as equally as good. What kind is that? Gray? Do I have that one? Hold on, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Kentucky Saddler. I'm pretty sure I do. I do. I'm looking for the Silver Bay and the Red Roan Tennessee Walker. Nope. 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 That's unfortunate. Man, that was so satisfying. I had a feeling I was going to find them. As I was, like, riding my way towards finding a regular camp, I was like, you know, let me go tonight. Maybe one of these meetings will start. And lo and behold, I was correct. Idiot. Idiot. And I think, what was the next one? Hold on, let me see. Um, four consecutive kills with the same tomahawk. Okay. All right, let's read these two notes that we found. Meeting notes. Lemoyne State Chapter, quarterly meeting minutes. Attended six, all official titles to be changed again. Requires new meeting. As the member formerly known as Secretary Senior, I shall be now known as Grandiose Scribe Most. My assistant will now be known as Grandiose Scribe Lease. Senior Warlock will now be known as Grand Seder. Other job titles up for discussion at meeting requested above. Job title of... Kaiser remains banned as per meeting of August last. Question for open discussion. Is there a way to make the robes less flammable? Acceptable food for Grand Seder surprise birthday dinner. French possible. Spanish definite. No. Members dues 87% under quarterly target again. Ideas for new initiations need to be canvassed from members. Tarring and feathering was not popular with wives. 
Need to focus on recruitment drive again. Need to fill all the brilliant and talented men in the community. You have something to give to our cause. Discussion point. Are there any brilliant and talented men left? Wooded crosses, heavy and expensive, other religious symbols to burn as a demonstration of our deep r religiosity. Female members stir still affirm no. Still need brilliant and talented men who want to wear hoods and discuss eugenics in their spare time. Somebody needs to review this. That pamphlet written by Norris Foresight. Has anybody read it? Disappointing attendance numbers again. Members who fail to attend will be punished. Most grandiose scribe, Wesley P. Kelly. It. So they're failing to uphold the amount of members they have? Good. Letter to Paul. Dear Paul, I'm sorry I left the house in such a huff for I must apologize, but the thing is, you are wrong. No offense. I simply do not care what Jesus or anyone else says. I am a student of science, and as such, and having read a lot into the subject, I have to assert my position again that co-mingling between the races is not merely wrong, but also dangerous. Yeah, you can go screw yourself, dude. But to be quite clear, that is not a position, but a scientific fact. I have read all the research. Look at the big cats. There are tigers and lions and leopards and things, and they are all different... So that sort of proves it. The same with trees. There's more than one kind of trees or colors. There's red and blue and so forth. So it is with races. White people like us to dominate and others to do work to which they are suited. Oh my god. This is science. I am done with school. I am sorry about the money you spent, but the place is full of fools. I am headed out west. I'll make my fortune there and prove my theories correct. I am not an arrogant blowhard, as you so rudely put it, but a man concerned with saving the human race. I am sorry we parted on such terms, but I'm afraid I have no patience for fools. And to hear you, Mother and Teddy speak... Well, I felt nothing but shame, and you are all educated and white. Shame on you. While well, I am a man of destiny, and I plan to prove it, nothing will stand in my way from forming a white utopia full of people just like me. Well, I am glad that you cannot do that anymore, sir. You can take your ideas and stuff it. And that's not just my opinion. That's, as he would say, a scientific fact. The star kind of suits him. Yeah. Hey, let's see. Um, Tomahawk. Here's what we can do. We can go to Hanging Dog Ranch, kill a couple of people, run, run far enough where they respawn and rinse and repeat. Alright, and if you want it for it to count as the same tomahawk, you need to pick it up. Because the next one you throw will count as the same one. Alright, we're going to get a lot of people to shoot at us. I counted. We're out of here. I'm okay with losing one tomahawk. We can always buy more. A long-barreled sidearm? No, I got this. That not count? No, those that counted. Good. We're not going to kill them all, we're just going to kill a few, okay? Come on. Come on. I 
I even got the tomahawk back. All right, let's get out of here. In fact, hold on. Let me kill just a few more. All right, that should be enough for it to respawn still. All right, let's get out of here. If you run away to where they lose interest in you, you should be able to... ...for the respawn. I thought it said long-barreled shotgun, not long-barreled rifle or whatever sidearm. I'm just glad that counts because this gun came with a long barrel at the beginning of the game for us, so I never even bought it. I totally forgot about that. Let's see. So we need seven more kills. Let me see what else is there. Okay, cool. Let me see. Do I have any poison throwing knives? We do, because we need that for um, the final one. The What's left is this. We need to kill fit seven more people with a long-barreled sidearm. And then we need to kill nine enemies from behind with a bow. So we're going to be going back and forth a lot. See, and they respawn completely. Isn't that so convenient and nice? Look who it is! It is That was not what I wanted to do. This is not going well for me. This is going extremely bad for me. Okay, cool. Now let's get out of here. Alright, now we need to kill nine enemies unaware with a bow from behind. Alright, we're literally just going to farm one spot. And I know we also just got this horse to level four. We will address that in a second. If you sneak up right here, there's an enemy that I killed first with the tomahawk that always has his back turned. That you can just keep leaving and killing. It gets really tedious, but this is the easiest way to do this.
There we go. Could you imagine the fact that you just keep, like, you keep losing one guard in that same place and you just keep putting people there? Like, oh man, he got the death shift. He's fucked. That's three, we need six more. If you think this is like, like this is probably technically the hardest one. It's just, it's really just the most tedious, honestly. Okay. I would say probably the, the four dynamite or throwing knife kills or tomahawk one is harder. This one's just tedious and the last one is actually super easy. Ooh, that one didn't respawn. Maybe there's another one. Hopefully this counts. That might have counted. Let's see. What? How is it only two? Oh, cool, we actually got our hat back. Nice. Yeah. Maybe we actually have to be crouching for it to count? That's weird, right? Whoa. Like, I'm not crazy for that. Alright, let's, uh, let's... Let's check. Okay, that counted. Let's see if we can get the other guy in the other position. Okay, that counted too. Strange. Maybe we just had to be crouching, so make a mental note of that.
Okay, that that I think that counted still actually. Let's get the no wait no that didn't count. Wait, did it? Shit. I think if they if you get found out then it doesn't count. No, I think that counted. It's just like they they see you, so you can't keep getting them. All right, just two more, and we're done. There's a reason I chose to do the weapons expert first out of all the challenges to complete. Just because I knew that like this one would be the easiest to get done compared to the rest, and it's the most fun. <laughs> Nuh-uh, that did not happen. I can't believe I completely whiffed that. I think that's life being like, hey, you you got three ones, you're gonna have to whiff one. Sorry about that. one more and we should have got should have gotten it there we go I think I've caused enough mayhem for them so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here instead of taking out the camp kill a grizzly bear without taking damage using only throwing knives and now there is a strategy to this and it does make me feel bad once we do it but it is what it is you know First off, we're going to save so we don't lose our progress, as we always do. But we can't because we're too close to enemy camp. Now we can save. All right, make sure you have some poison knives because I think that is the way to take down a grizzly bear easily. I 
I think I see one. I do. Keep in mind, if you do this with a to hunt, it will ruin the quality. Okay, guys. This is it. This is it. Get back. I hate killing the animals that way, but it required it. And it counts. Thank you for your sacrifice, bear. And guys, that's the all 10 of the weapon expert challenges. Now we can actually go buy its bandoliers and everything, which that's what we are going to do right now. We'll have to switch back to the upgraded. But I think by buying a full set, it will, um... It will increase, like, dead eye, stamina, or health or something. Buying the full sets of bandoliers based off the uh, type of challenges you complete will increase one of those three attributes. Hold on, just give me one second, actually. I think, actually, what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the trapper on next to Emerald Ranch. But we're going to fast travel to Emerald Ranch, since we already have that bond with that horse. You know, I haven't actually checked the journal in a while, and there was an entry we haven't read yet, so let's make sure that we did do that right. Make sure... Alright, cool. It's all nice and neat, the way I like it. Deputy Sheriff, finally we have achieved a state of true insanity. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy working for the alcohol-drenched Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshiners. Dutch is convinced that this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Grays, ex-Scots, is warring with another proud English family, the Braithwaites. Like some long-running dispute from the border, from the border country. Apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this, and if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves, I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their... And they're like a long while... And they're like a long while to find us, we shall see. In the meantime, a new career path and law seems to await. Seems like amongst other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Then there's Olander, Oleander Sage and Vanilla Flower.
sister. Yeah, it's you. Hello, mister. Can I craft right, anything? I don't think I can. Looking to get something put together. Yeah, huh? no. Um, bye. Stock up on dynamite. We don't need that. We'll find it. And if not, I'll come buy it. Not a big deal. Okay, we're good. Can I sell anything to you? It's worth buying. I'll buy. It. No, I can just give that to camp. I'll give that to camp. Yeah, everything I could pretty much give the camp. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah. Let's pick up the mail while we're at it. I think we're probably going to get something from the fish guy. Welcome. How do you do? Lake lure. Thanks. Does this guy not realize I would have to buy a special lake okay, lure to capture the freaking fish that he wants anyway? Am I stupid? <laughs> or am I misunderstanding the reward here? Looking to trade a pelt or two there. So, buy in or sell it. Right, let's see. I think I'll give these fish to um Pearson, you know. Let let that be something that he can cook or whatever. But I'll sell the bear pelt, the I'll cougar pelt, and the wolf pelt to him. Um let's see, and then I need to buy stuff from you. Quality hide makes the reinforced equipment. Well. Weapons expert and buy all this. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm gonna try to stick to buying them in bulk when we get done with them. Thank you for your help. Reinforced bandoliers increase ammo capacity for repeaters, rivals, and shotguns. Reinforced gun belts increase ammo capacity for revolvers and pistols. Holsters reduce the amount of maintenance weapons require. Offhand holsters reduce the amount of maintenance weapons require. Well, I will take it. Alright, I since this horse is done, I'm going to try to find another Tennessee Walker for us to work on. Which that should be around here. We can find one around here. So I'm going to go look for that because I do want to get the Tennessee Walkers done. And then finish the Kentucky Saddlers. So, wish me luck in finding the Red Roan Coat. I don't take usually kindly to company, but you can stay. 
Been doing some hunting, I see. Rare game's more my thing these days. Any fool can take down a deer or a rabbit, even a bear. I once killed 30 bears in one year. And buffalo? <laughs> I can't even count that high. Yep, God's honest truth. Folk near San Denis tell stories of a panther that roams the swamps out there. Fast, ferocious, real elusive. Bit of a legend in those parts. Never been caught. And I figure if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be me. And a pelt like that whoo, could keep a feller warm in whiskey for months. But that's a story for another day. Hold on now. I, I swear I've seen your face before. You don't know me, friend. Go darn it, no. Just passing through. No business with you. Bye now. That is actually the legendary panther that we have to hunt for the Master Hunter Challenge. And let me tell you, he is scary. Frightens me. That's for damn sure. Easy. Whoa. Yep. Well, technically, we do need the Silver Bay Silver Bay for the Kentucky Saddler. So I guess that's what we're getting. I should be happy that I found a horse I'm looking for anyway. Yeah. I fast traveled back here thinking I was going to find a Tennessee Walker because I looked around a little bit up there and didn't find anything. But that's okay because we did find a horse that we could trade, and it's one of the two lower ones. This just means we'll get done with Kentucky Saddler first. Here we go. Come on. Easy. Easy, easy. Easy. Hey now. You can relax now. Wonder what those horses are up there. Watch it be the Tennessee Red Road, the one I was looking for to begin with. No, it's just the two chestnuts that ran. Well, thank you for your help, Fried Chicken the Fourth. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been trying before. And now we have Fried Chicken the Fifth. That's a hell of a name. Thank you. 
The last guy didn't think as much. Let's see, um, what's next on the to-do? Yeah. In fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, man. Where are the maps? No, no, not treasure maps. No. Here it is. Legendary fish map. We got the pickerel, the smallmouth bass, and the bluegill. Okay, okay, so we're good. We're good to that regard. Let's see. Now, ooh, we need to find some burdock root and some common bell rush before we start the next mission because the next mission will allow us to draw a point of interest in the journal. The actual mission will give us a journal entry, but we'll come across a point of interest that I decided to wait till this mission to draw in then. And that works out perfectly. I'm actually going to attempt something though. There is a better method to do this, but since I do see that there's an O'Driscoll camp, I'm thinking what? I'm thinking my poor horse I'm so sorry, I just got you. Get up, it's okay, it's okay. No, don't aim the gun. Here, here, we're gonna, I'm gonna feed you a good meal for that. I'm so sorry, here, have that, have this. There it goes. All right, I'm gonna try. What? What's the challenge? Hold on, let me see, it's a sharpshooter. There is a, an easy way to do this. That requires losing some honor and the challenge right after it, the same thing. I'd probably say the challenge right after it is more required, but I'm almost kind of curious if I can do this naturally. If not, I'm just killing another O'Driscoll camp, so I don't really care. Well, my About time we went on a Who's there? You come one step closer and we'll kill you dead. End this battle! <laughs> Yeah, that didn't work out. This is not going as planned. Well, now I know why I waited. I just couldn't remember why, like, I didn't ever try it the other way around. When we get to that point where we can get it, which this is going to be way later into the story, we have to actually get a certain Deadeye ability for it to be super easy to get. I just was wondering if there was a way that I could do it now. I was trying to think that I could have, and maybe I can. But honestly, seeing how much I struggled right there, I'd rather just wait. <laughs> It'd be sweet to pull that off, but nah, I don't need to. You know what I mean?
This is where I usually find burdock root. It's the one place I remember, to be honest. And we need to give some to Kieran. I should have just waited till after. No, wait, I saved just in case if there was a mess up with the journal. But there we go. Burdock root. Arcantium lapa. Burdock root. Burdock bushes all... Burdock bushes are tall, dark green leafy bushes and are very easy to spot in the light-colored surroundings. They are found in the western side of the Great Plains region, particularly along the railroad tracks and riverbanks, sometimes near rocks and underground groups of trees, but scattered about in general. The root can be consumed or crafted into bitters. And then the common owlbrush we can literally find just anywhere. Like right here. Common bull... Common bulrush. Sorry. Typha latifolia. Common bulrush can be recognized by the long leaves and brown staminate flowers. This plant can be found near streams and lakes in every region across America. The plant is poisonous to humans, so it should never be consumed. Excuse me. Though it can be used in crafting a, crafting a horse ointment. It is very easy to get a lot of these, so I take advantage when I can. I think we can also get some steelhead trout right here, so why don't we fish for a little bit, you know? Man, he's just taking no time to whip those suckers out. Hold on. Sorry, I'm making sure that... Okay, sorry, I was just making sure I had the right thing. So we need uh, worms. Worms, and then we need crayfish for largemouth bass. That does not look like a steel mouth steelhead trout. <laughs> I got it. Maybe I got the wrong spot. Hold on. Is that a lake sturgeon? That looks like a lake sturgeon. You know what? I'm going to take a chance and put on a lake lure. Musky, I think, are up in the north right region of the map. Okay. I got some hooked. Oh. 
Well, look at you. Whoa, what are you? A sturgeon, perhaps? Yes. Lake sturgeon are large, strong, and bottom-feeding fish that dwell in the deeper waters of some southern lakes and swamps. They can be tempted to bite by man-made lake lures. The lake sturgeon are known to be more active during overcast weather. A huge legendary lake sturgeon is rumored to have been spotted around the Lanahassee River Delta. We will get a chance to fish for that one. In fact, I think we'll get that one for the survivalist challenge. Ah, maybe next time. You know, I want to put this away. I actually want to go more s north just a little bit. <laughs> 